Well, we're back in here at the Seals Grove Speedway for the 25 lap sprint car feature event. I'm Johnny Strazzi, your race commentator, and I'll get down over the starting lineup on the pole. Some new people starting up front tonight. In the number 18 R will be Rick Roeming, and right beside him, the number 66 will be Charlie Lester. Starting third, in the number six will be Dave Reichert, and starting fourth, in the number 75 will be Bobby Strasser. Starting fifth, in the number 14 C will be Troy Camp, and starting sixth, in the Beaver Springs Auto Parts, number 88 will be Bobby Landis. Starting seventh, in the number 77 will be Brian Nornhold, and starting eighth, in the number four will be Lenny Krautheim. Starting ninth in the number 76 will be Scotty Hawes, and starting 10th in the number 9 will be Joey Gravino. Starting 11th in the number 14 will be Barry Camp, and starting 12th in the number 26 will be Jim Nace. Starting 13th in the number 80 will be Bobby Parrow, and right beside him in that 14th starting spot in car number 2K, last week's feature winner, Joey Coon. Starting in that 15th spot. In the Michael Barshinger, development number 65 will be Johnny Mackinson Jr. He has a win here at Seals Grove this season. And starting 16th in the number 104 will be B.J. Stewart. Starting 17th in the number 11G will be Bill Glenn. And right behind, or right beside him in the number zero will be Greg Lamy. Rounding out the field in the 19th spot will be the number three of Phil Walter. And starting 20th will be the 25 of Dave Williamson. Starting 21st. In the number 14P will be Bill Perry. And starting 22nd in the number 98 will be Bobby Krupp. Starting 23rd in the number 99 will be Ralph Heinzelman. And bringing up the rear, starting in that 24th spot, the number 4G, Jim Gesselman. 24 starters. All lined up, looking for a green flag in turns three and four. The BZ Motors pace car has exited the speedway. Yellow lights are out. And we'll watch them. Some rookies up front. Rick Romig, Charlie Lester, Dave Riker. Let's hope everything goes okay. Off turn number four, the green flag waves, and we're underway down the first stretch. It's a mad scramble into turn number one. So far, everybody has made it. Let's see what happens as they head down the back stretch now. Well, Bobby Strasser, I think, is your leader. The dust pretty thick up in turn number four. We'll look for him at the flag stand. Your leader is Rick Romig in the number 18 R. Charlie Lester runs in that second spot. Charlie Lester runs second. The dust is really beginning to be kicked up here by these powerful sprint cars. Off turn four and down the front stretch is still Rick Romig, your leader. Lenny Crowdheim has moved up into that third spot in the number four car, right behind Charlie Lester, who runs third. Rick Romig, your leader, Bobby Strasser runs second. Off turn four, car heading to the pit area. Yellow flag being brought out. Romig, Lester, Bobby Strasser, and Bobby Landis. In that order as they come by the flag stand. A couple of drivers stopping right here on the front stretch. Jim Nason, Barry Camp. We've got a yellow on the speedway. Make that a red. Red flag being brought out now and we'll see what is going on exactly. I don't see a serious incident. But the dust so heavy that it is impossible really to see the cars as they come off turn number four. So couple of wreckers being brought out. So Lenny Krautheim evidently has uh, gotten uh, in trouble. Lenny okay though. Uh, really, uh, Krautheim was running up front, but I didn't see exactly what happened. We'll be back with the restart. Okay, after the red flag for Lenny Crowdheim, who has made it back into the field, we're all set to go here with Rick Romig, Charlie Lester, Bobby Strasser, Bobby Landis, and Brian Nornhold. Up front, then we got Scotty Hawes, Joey Kuhn, Joey Gravino, and Jim Nace in there, and we're back to green flag racing off turn number four. Everybody scrambling into turn number one. Jim Nace on the high side of Gravino. But Gravino gets the door shut. 
We'll watch him up in turns three and four. Bobby Landis gets back around the number 76 of Scotty Hawes up into that fourth spot. Joey Kuhn now working his way up. Kuhn right in behind Landis. There you see it on your screen. Keep your eye on the number 2K of Joey Kuhn and the 88 of Bobby Landis. Off turn four, your leader continues to be Rick Romig. Charlie Lester and Bobby Strasser. Landis with a slight push in the car in turn number one. Joey Kuhn gets right up beside him, but Landis able to hang on over on turn two. Landis now beginning to work on the back bumper of Bobby Strasser as they come down the front stretch. Rick Romy continues to lead in that number 18 arm. Romy, your leader off of turn number four, a car heading for the pit area. Off turn four, they side by side, Landis and Bobby Strasser now. Bobby Landis and Bobby Strasser wheel to wheel as they head down the box stretch. Strasser with a new engine under the hood of that number 75. They're both trying to reel in Charlie Lester. Your leader continues to be Rick Romig. gets up around the outside of Landis. Kuhn moves up into that fourth spot off turn four. Bobby Strasser still rides third, but here comes Joey Kuhn around the outside. Joey Kuhn going for all the marbles in turn four, and he moves up to third. And moves up one more spot. Jim Nace now working on Landis. Here comes your battle for the lead. Joey Kuhn on the inside. Joey Kuhn, your new leader off of turn number four. Rick Romig runs second. Good battle for third as they come down the front stretch. Charlie Lester and Bobby Strasser. Barry Camp, Bobby Landis, and Jim Nace. now gets around Landis as they go down the box stretch and into turn number three. Joey Kuhn, your new leader off of turn four. Right there goes your leader, Joey Kuhn. Rick Romig runs second. Charlie Lester still runs third. Bobby Strasser runs fourth. There comes Barry Camp now on the inside of Bobby Strasser and he gets by on the box stretch. The rest of the field head through turns one and two. Our leaders coming off of turn number four now. Joey Coon, he hits the turn one and two. Rick Romy continues to run second, Charlie Lester third. Then it's Barry Kaye, Bobby Strasser, and Jim Mace, followed by Bobby Landis and Brian Lord Holm. How long can Rick Romy hang on to that second spot? Who comes Joey Coon by? Here comes Rick Romy. Barry Camp now is challenging for that second spot in turns one and two. Camp up below the inside of Rick Romig as they come off turn two and down the back stretch now. Barry Camp on the inside and he moves up to second. But Rick Romig don't want to give it up. Now Camp gets second, Romig drops back to third. Down the front stretch they race bumper to bumper. A car drops out in turn number four. We got a yellow flag for a car dropping out in turn number four. It looks like it might be the number 75 of Bobby Strasser. After a super run at the front of this pack, right up from the flag stand, Bobby Strasser, I believe, 
And I think he might have a flat tire on the number 75. A tough break. He was running in a good money position. But he'll go all the way to the back. No, it isn't Bobby Strasser. It might be Charlie Lester in the number 66. Get the camera to zoom in just a little bit. Right there on the screen. Just can hardly pick up the number. Might be Jim Gesselman in the four. Can't quite read the number on that car. We'll be back with the restart. Back in here with 10 laps to go on Joey Kuhn, your leader. Two lap cars among the top runners now, Ralph Heinzelman and Bill Perry. We get green flag off turn four on your leader, Joey Kuhn. Going for two in a row. They head down the back stretch and Rick Romick suddenly dropping off the pace in the number 18 R. Joey Kuhn, your leader. Barry Camp, one second. Jim Nace, third. Bobby Strauss for fourth. Mackison trying to move up now, slides into the top five. Joey Kuhn goes streaking by our camera, along with Barry Camp, Jim Nace. Here comes Bobby Strasser in the number 75. Brian Nornhold, Johnny Mackison, and Joey Gravino. Look out! And Bob Landis doesn't get through, and someone takes a nasty one up in turn number two. I believe that's Dave Reichard in the number six. Reichard, with nowhere to go, gets into the fence and barrel rolls at number six about three or four times. Let's hope no injuries over there. So Reichert, Reichert getting into the fence. Landis also uh, with the track blocked in front of him. Four or five cars scrambling to get by the spun number 77 of Nornhold. So Bobby Landis will now plummet to the back of this pack. We'll be back with the restart. Back here at the Sealands Grove Speedway, exit Dave Reichert and Bobby Landis. Our leader, Joey Kuhn, uh, he's been flipping at Williams Grove and winning at Sealands Grove. So Sealands Grove's been paying the bills on that 2K race team. Okay, we'll watch them off turn number four with the green flag waving. Joey Kuhn, your leader. 